This grainy, distant image taken from Vishakhapatnam's Ramakrishna beach is the only public image of INS Arighat. India's second homegrown nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine. Her silhouette breaking the surface of the Bay of Bengal for this single, haunting, intriguing frame. With no cameras or media present, INS Arighat was quietly commissioned into service at Vishakhapatnam, India's submarine capital, on Thursday. With Defence Minister Rajnath Singh felicitating the designers, builders and the inaugural crew. Entering service eight years after India's OG nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine INS Arihant entered service, the similar-sized but significantly improved INS Arighat marks a crucial advancement in India's strategic defence architecture, reflecting India's commitment to maintaining a robust and credible nuclear deterrent. With the arrival of INS Arighat, the sea leg of India's nuclear weapons triad now has two submarines armed with nuclear-tipped long-range missiles ready to execute a devastating Indian response to any nuclear provocation. While India's ground-based ballistic missiles like the Agni and air-delivered nuclear weapons form the other two legs, the submarine-based deterrent is seen as the most secretive, stealthy and survivable and therefore the most formidable in a nuclear scenario. INS Arighat, like its sister ship INS Arihant, is equipped with advanced technology and a very potent arsenal. The submarine is believed to be carrying up to 12 K-15 Sagarika missiles, which have a range of up to 750 kilometers. Additionally, it may also be equipped with the longer-range K-4 ballistic missiles, which can strike targets with nuclear warheads up to 3,500 kilometers away. This range extends India's strategic reach, enabling it to target adversaries from the depths of the ocean, thus ensuring a credible deterrence. The submarine is powered by a nuclear reactor, allowing it to remain submerged for near limitless periods, unlike conventional diesel-electric submarines of the kind used in conventional operations. This ability to stay underwater for longer durations makes it less detectable and enhances its survivability, a key factor in its role as a strategic deterrent. The induction of INS Arighat has profound implications for India's strategic posture, particularly in the Indo-Pacific region. As geopolitical tensions continue to simmer, especially with the rise of China's naval power and its assertive posturing in the South China Sea, India's need to secure its maritime borders and maintain a credible nuclear deterrent has never been more pressing. INS Arighat enhances India's second strike capability, which is vital for maintaining the doctrine of no first use of nuclear weapons. In a potential conflict scenario, the survivability of INS Arighat ensures that India retains the ability to retaliate against a nuclear strike, thereby deterring adversaries from even contemplating such an attack in the first place. Moreover, INS Arighat strengthens India's role as a net security provider in the Indian Ocean region. With increasing maritime challenges, including piracy, terrorism and the protection of sea lines of communication, the presence of a sophisticated and capable fleet of nuclear submarines enhances India's ability to project power and protect its interests in the region. With Arihant and Arighat in service, India plans to build at least two more similar submarines before aiming for a giant ballistic missile submarine nearly twice the size of these two.